Hi, Summit fans. I'm here with the legendary Don Staley. Hi, Don. Hi. <laughs> it's been a wonderful 2017 for you. Let's start with the national championship. Take us back to that day. Describe the feeling. Describe everything about it. Um, it, it, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a great day, and the fact that we were competing for what we wanted um, all season long, and for me. Um, it, it took another 27 years to actually get back to that spot. Um, but we felt really good. You know, I think uh, winning the national championship is, is something that every, every college student athlete should be able to experience, every college coach, because you work so hard and you put in so much work for that particular moment, and the moment doesn't disappoint. I can, I can replay that moment as the time is ticking down, um, nothing felt any better in, in that moment. And it's shared with so many different people, you know, my former players, my former coaches, my current players, everybody had a hand in that particular moment. That's why it felt so great. You've been able to completely turn around the program in just a matter of a few years. And I think I heard an interview where you said that you promised Tiffany that if she co committed that the whole program will will change. How, what steps did you take to get the program to be where it is? Well, I think, you know, the, the most important thing in building a program is building relationships with, with different people. Uh, what we wanted to do at South Carolina is corner the market, corner, you know, South Carolina, corner North Carolina, corner Georgia. So we had to start at home because those are the places in which we can get to a lot. Um, and I thought we did a great job at picking out who we felt uh, could help us, just could could um, bring the pieces in to, to make it all work. And Tiffany Mitchell was one. Her, she and her mom were, were in from the very beginning. She's the, probably the recruit that committed to us very, very early on in her high school career. And I knew she was special. Um, because of what she did. She didn't do a whole lot of uh, official visits, a whole lot of visits. She knew exactly where she wanted to go in. And, and for a player to do that, um, it it's always leaves a special place in my heart. Being from North Carolina myself, mm -hmm. you, you guys bring a certain pride to the Carolinas mm -hmm. and you're known for having the largest audience. Mm -hmm. how, can, how does that help you guys win more? Well, I think we create you know, if you look at any national championship team or, or world champion, they create an advantage at home, a home court advantage. And what our fans have been able to do um, before we actually were contending for a national championship, they made us feel like national champions um, by coming into our arena every single day, um, every single game, and giving us that feel for what it's like to play on the big stage. Uh Every year, you know, there's passing the torch to the next person. This year, talk about Asia and how she can carry the team to another successful season and a long postseason. Well, with with every you know, with every you know, quality player that comes in your 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 program, you want them to grow. You want them to grow and mature on and off the court. Um, I I don't think Asia becomes Asia Wilson without the the legacy of leadership. Uh, that was left by a, you know, a Elam Ibium, a Lisa Welch, a Tiffany Mitchell, you know, all of those players who were great contributors on the court, but a lot of people didn't see what was happening off the court. Just the teaching, the the culture of excellence that we try to portray every single year, and I think. Uh, Asia is the beneficiary of, of all of those people who helped our program grow to this point. And I can't think of a better player uh, to to lead us into this this next uh, challenge of uh, trying to go back to back and winning the national championship. Who are some who or what are some other key factors to you guys potential success? Well, one of the key factors that helped us, you know, just throughout last year and throughout the years has been chemistry, team chemistry. Um, our our team ha they have a incredible bond, you know, a, an incredible sisterhood uh, like no other. Almost to the point where, you know, they draw the line with me, uh, <laughs> which is a great quality. Um, I think, but you know, to have that, um, it, it does transfer over onto the court where, you know, some things for us that, you know, probably would drag all season long. 
you know, they it's nipped in the bud in in, in a week or so, um, which is a, a great quality to have for a team that's trying to win and do things that nobody think could could ever uh, we could ever accomplish. So team chemistry, you know, we we have to work hard. You know, that has to be a key ingredient uh, to any successful team. And then, you know, you gotta have a little luck on your side too. We got lucky um, at the end of the season. Uh, we turned a an adverse situation into something special when we lost Elena Coates mm -hmm. uh, to injury. Yeah. Our team came together even more. And when you have, you know, those strong personalities coming together as one, special things can happen. You guys are known for your videos that you put out. Hey. Guys, you have to watch the videos. Every year, it's a new song, especially like when Tina was there, she had yes. her little blowout and uh -huh. was dancing. Um, when did that start? How did you guys start that up? Did you, were you involved in this or was this just them? It it, it, was, it started with Tina Roy, because <laughs> Tina Roy is 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 pretty gifted, pretty good. She can rap and, and we blowout. call it, oh yeah, she got bars. <laughs> they call them bars. Yeah. So Tina's got bars and, and I don't know how, um, she just she was just really creative in, in figuring out how to put together what what people's biggest attributes to our team into a, a, a rap song. Mm -hmm. um, and every year we, we come to know Tina as, as doing this and each year it got better and better and better. Um, we don't have a Tina Roy with the bars, uh, but somehow our players, <laughs> Tina with the bars. right? Somehow our players, they just they can dance. Mm -hmm. All of them seem to be able to can dance. So we do dance routines now, and, and they're pretty good at it. You had a coach um, tell you when you were younger, if you, like, you, you carried that note with you. Mm -hmm. What would you tell a future coach or a younger coach or a younger player? Um, what are some inspiring words you have for them? Well, I, I, I just think you, you, you need to, to work hard. You know, there is, you know, a, a direct correlation with working hard and successful people. Mm -hmm. And, um, it doesn't. You can work hard in all the right, in all the wrong ways, yeah. but you you gotta surround yourself with people who can can only help you, only help you. You have to be selfish about about that. You can't have people who are gonna detract from um, your success path. They have to be there only to help you. And I, I think a lot of people, you know, fall trapped to to friends who want to do other things and they have different vision for what they feel is right for your life. You have to take control over your life and invite people in that can only help you. And lastly, one word that describes your entire program. Uh, discipline. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.